Well, hey guys, how are you doing? Um, so I got a message from Jesus today and I think that um, this one's kind of brutal and um, you know, lots, lots is coming guys. And if you don't know Jesus, it's going to be scary. Um, not trying to scare or fear monger or anybody. Um, I'm just being obedient to Jesus guys. And you know, if you don't know him, just it's all about your faith and trust in him just believe in him ask him to come into your life confess your sins to him and confess that he's lord and he will save you guys it's it's about your your faith and your trust in him and um you know i claim that jesus christ came to earth as a man in the flesh and he died for us he he shed his blood on the cross and um he rose on the third day or, or three days later um Oh, hey, Dobby. <laughs> Dobby's over there. Um, also, he was born of, of a virgin. Someone said that to me the other day. Why don't you ever claim that? Well, I don't know. I, I just... <sighs> I'm human. <laughs> I don't remember that, you know, clarifying that as a prophet. So, but anyway, uh, of course, we know that Jesus came from Mary. And Mary was a virgin, so... Anyway, so the message is for March 20th, 2023. Remember, ignore the Telegram people on YouTube and the WhatsApp people. They're lying and they're just trying to get money out of you. Okay. Okay, guys. Philippians, it's March 20th, 2023. Philippians 1 8. For God is my witness, how greatly I long for you all with the affection of Jesus Christ. Job 17 5. He who speaks flattery to his friends, even the eyes of his children will fall, will fail. Sorry. Second Peter 2 15. They have forsaken the right way and gone astray following the way of Balaam, the son of Beor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Second Peter 2 13. And will receive the wages of unrighteousness as those who counted pleasure to carouse in the daytime. They are spots and blemishes carousing in their own deceptions while they feast with you. Leviticus 1.4 And if the burnt sacrifice of his offering to the Lord is of birds, then he shall bring his offering of turtle doves or young pigeons. Leviticus 1.7 The sons of Aaron the priest shall put fire on the altar and lay the wood in order on the fire. Jeremiah 7.12 But go now to my place, which was in Shiloh, Shiloh, where I set my name at the first and see what I did to it because of the wickedness of my people, Israel. Exodus 3.13 Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? Now, just a reminder, if you're new on the channel, guys, I'm not in front of my Bible when he gives me these messages and these scriptures. I copy and paste it after. And reminder, he's talking to unbelievers, believers, and Jews. Okay, I don't think the Messianic Jews, because I think he considered those as believers, you know. So, I think that's why he always adds Leviticus or whatever. Old Testament offerings. Okay, here's a message. My child... I told you they were setting everything up for the new world order. I told you it was coming. They will say it's a way to unify the nations for a one world government system. It's going to promote peace and prosperity. Lies all lies. And when all the major banks crash, the smaller ones will be forced to cooperate to the new system. They have been doing everything behind the scenes, but it's all coming to light. You're going to see a lot of changes in the government here soon. New world order brought to light now and positions will be changing. The cabal takedown is real and it is happening, but it leads into deception. I told you they have twisted my words to make them mean something else. I am coming, my child. I can't wait to be with my children. The wedding feast, are you prepared for it? There's still more time, but my door is closing. Trump setting him up to fall, just like I said. Distraction, my child, distraction. They don't want you to see the truth. Spiritual blindness is happening. Spiritual darkness is happening. We wrestle against flesh and blood and the principalities of darkness. It's going to keep increasing. They will call him the savior, but he is not. 
the major player behind their end game of control and civilization will be revealed. It's all set in motion. Trump will be set up and blamed for the cabal takedown. He is a part of it, but not the sole reason for the government shakedown. The anarchy and the divisions of the systems will offer restitution and financial security, but it will be denied for the sole purpose of system changes. They will say Trump is behind it and he is evil and start referencing him as the Antichrist, calling it the Christian rebellion. That's all lies and deception. Obama will appear to the world as the new savior as martial law commences. He will create a system to unite all the nations under one currency. FEMA camps, if you aren't a part of their system, you will be forced to live in them. They will take you by force from your home. If you rebel, you will be shot on sight. Delusion, my child, such strong delusion happening everywhere. I have allowed it all to commence. My judgments here. Once my door closes, you will suffer through tribulation, and my new believers will be witnessing, and revivals will break out everywhere. Spiritual gifts will be divided among the believers and won't be stopped until they are forced to die under the swords to honor my glory. Revelation 6.5 when he opened the third seal, I heard the living creature say, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a black horse, and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. Mark 4, 9. And he said to them, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Revelation 12, 5. She bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up to God and his throne. Revelation 7, 9. After these things, I looked and behold a great multitude, which no one could number of all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, with palm branches in their hands. Revelation 13, 5. And he was giving a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies, and he was giving authority to continue for 42 months. Here's another message. I am the true Savior, your Jehovah, your Adonai. Do not fall for their lies. Even the elect may be, be deceived, if it were possible. But it's not possible. My true believers know my voice. They heed my warnings and hear me speaking. My prophets speak truth, no trickery and deceit. Plans have already been made. They're even working up, setting up the zones. Social distancing because of the new pandemic they are releasing. I told you martial law is coming, and it is. Lots of people will have to move to these areas just so they will not be affected by the water and the hazardous breathing from the air. It is part of their plan, and it is on purpose. You're going to see a lot more derailments here soon. It's going to increase rapidly because now the plan has been set in motion full swing. And it's not just going to be derailments. There will be more chemical spills, oil spills, and it will be too hazardous for you to stay in your homes. Government seizing is coming. Eminent domain is coming. There is no restitution because of the system changes. Do you think everything you own now is yours? Most of that has already been sold. Their system and plan is you will own nothing and be happy. I'm going to take my church out of here soon. I will not let them endure this evil. When my church is gone, you will see things vamp up very fast. This is just the beginning. There's so much more that is coming. My child, wake up. Do you have any idea what they are planning and what they are doing? If you have ears to hear, listen, learn. Everything I'm telling my prophets is going to come to pass. I told you there would be a derailment in Kentucky. There's a reason Trump is behind Gu Guantanamo Bay. Guantanamo Bay. It's hard to pronounce that. 
everything I say has a purpose. Listen carefully and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal my plans and my teachings. Okay, guys, and then he gave me um, Titus 1 7. For a bishop must be blameless as a steward of God, not self willed, not quick tempered, not given to wine, not violent, and not greedy for money. Ezekiel 17 5. Then he took some of the seed of the land and planted it in a fertile field. He placed it by abundant waters and set it like a willow tree. Revelation 19, 5. Then a voice came from the throne saying, Praise our God, all you his servants and those who fear him, both small and great. Philippians 3, 7. But what things were gained to me, these I have counted loss for Christ. Ecclesiastes 4, 5. The fool folds his hands and consumes his own flesh. Okay, and here's another message. Do you see what they are doing, my child? The bank's crisis is also a part of their plan. The money will be worth nothing soon. In order to have anything, you will have to be part of their system. Pandemic is increasing, and you will hear a lot more about that soon another one is coming not just marburg virus amos 7 8 and the lord said to me amos what do you see and i said a plumb line then the lord said behold i am setting a plumb line in the midst of my people israel i will not pass by them anymore 1 Corinthians 3, 9, for we are God's fellow workers, you are God's field, you are God's building. 1 Timothy 3, 8, likewise deacons must be reverent, not double-tongued, not given too much wine, not greedy for money. Ecclesiastes 4, 11, again, if two lie down together, they will keep warm, but how can one be warm alone? Matthew 9, 17, nor do they put new wine into old wine skins, or else the wine skins break, the wine is spilled, and the wine skins are ruined. But they put new wine into new wine skins, are both are preserved. So a lot of these scriptures go over my head, guys, but it's just what I heard. And unless the Lord gives me revelation, I'm not going to try to tell you what it all means. You have to ask the Holy Spirit for that. Okay, here's another message. The oil prices will increase. There's going to be a huge spill. Truckers won't be able to get diesel. They want you to rely on them. The government to assist you and your dependents will be solely on them for your food, for your water, and for your clean air. Oh, children, I wish you could see what I can see. Tribulation has not started yet, but it's coming. It will start and you are going to see Obama in power. He will no longer be behind the scenes. Once chaos hits everywhere, his leadership role will be known. FEMA camps, it's part of their plan. Your freedoms are over. It's time to wake up, children. My people will not endure tribulation. I am keeping them from that horror. I wish for all to be saved and no one to perish. So come to me, believe in me, confess with your mouth that I am Lord and I will save you. You haven't seen evil yet, not compared to what is coming. Listen to my prophets, listen to my dreamers, listen to my visionaries, listen to my people spreading the gospel, listen to them, they are speaking truth. You will know them by their fruits. You will know them by the words that they speak. Test everything. Rely on the Holy Spirit to give you understanding. Do not rely on your own biblical teachings and understanding of men. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. And the Holy Spirit is the only way to discern the truth. I love you, my children. I'm pouring my heart out to you. Why do you seek destruction? Why are you looking for my wrath? Trust in me to save you. If you rely on the law and your own works, you are cursed. 
if you are still under the law, you are cursed. I created the new covenant to save you. My will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You follow my commandments because you love me. You walk in the spirit to seek me. You worship me and you pray to me because you trust me. Put your faith and trust in me. Do not deny me. Come to me and I will give you rest. I am your redeemer, your rescuer, and I have spoken. So guys, remember, he's talking to three different people. So, you know, at first it seemed like he was talking to the believers, but then the next part he's talking to the people to become believers. Galatians 5.13, for you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. Galatians 5.22, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. 1 Thessalonians 4.8, Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man, but God, who has also given us his Holy Spirit. Revelation 22, 5. There shall be no night there. They need no lamp nor light of the sun, for the Lord God gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Jeremiah 7, 3. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Amend your ways and your doings, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Hebrews 11.6 But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. John 3.7 Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. John 14.5 Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? James 3, 7, For every kind of beast and bird of reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. Luke 4, 11, And in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. And that's it. Okay, guys, so that's scary for someone who doesn't know Jesus. And, um, you know, I pray for, for everybody, guys. You know, let's just all pray together right now. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, you are our Savior. You are our Lord. I just pray that you wake people up, Lord, that you just wake up their hearts that you wake everybody up who does not know you, Lord, and you just pour out your spirit on all flesh. <sighs> Lord Jesus, please, Lord, please wake up your children, please. God, we put our trust We put our faith in you, Lord. Give us the strength to plant the seeds everywhere and to share your words and your gospel and your truth, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Guys, you know, Jesus is powerful. The Holy Spirit comes over me, especially when I pray. And the shaking right here, this is the Lord. And this is how I receive messages. It's not psychosis. Someone said I'm going through psychosis. I don't, I'm, I'm not even sure I have to go look that up, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not the smartest cookie in the world, but you know what? I get along, so. Um, God is so good, guys. He's so good, and he knows everyone's heart. 
And if you just believe and you just put your faith and trust in him, he's going to save you. It is not about your works and what you do for him. It is what he has done for you. It is already done. You follow his commandments. You love one another. You love the Lord God. Jesus is so good, guys. He's so good. But he comes back like a lion. His wrath is like a lion because he's been rejected for so long. And if you do not know him, guys, I don't want to see anyone perish. And he doesn't either. I don't know everything, you know, I only know what he gives me. And, and I saw a verse the other day it was the verse of the day that we prophesy in part. And then we're like, we're like children. We're children until we become men, meaning, you know, we don't get everything all at once. It's revealed over time. And he gives us pieces of information and parts and that's why I don't tend to not watch other prophets because he gives me pieces and he gives other prophets pieces. And I don't want to confuse my words, okay? <sighs> Sorry, the spirit's strong, guys. I don't know when all this is coming. I don't know. But I feel like it's soon because... It's like he gives me a message almost every day. Just going about my everyday life and my spirit changes. So wake up, guys. Wake up. He loves you. All right, I'm going to go to bed now. You guys, have a blessed evening and I'll talk to you later.